Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of March, so get ready to be bored, cause this is Vlarch. You're not gonna believe it, we're at the beach. I'm helping my levy look for sea glass today, but I can't resist trying to find some cool rocks too, you know what I mean? I feel like I always do rock montages. Let's see if we can get a cool sea glass montage. I did just find my very first Marvel, which is very exciting if you know anything about sea glass, which I'm assuming none of you do because why would anyone know anything about sea glass? But Eric's found a marble. I've never found a marble. And I found a marble that's very exciting. And then the kids had gym class, which they of course loved, as they always do. And now I'm just going through my sea glass. I haven't even had a chance to like look at my rocks yet, but I'm just like organizing the sea glass. But I know that I got some good rocks today. I'm very, very excited about that. Here's a sea glass that I got, and then I'll show you what Eric got. Usually we put the kids to bed, and then after we put the kids to bed, we like go through all the sea glass that we found, and I give him whatever sea glass I found, and he shows me all the cool pieces that he found. I just organized out by color all the different sea glass that I found today. So I'll show that to you before I show it to him. So here we have all the browns. Here's all the different greens that I found. And I think that this piece might be uranium. We'll find out. And then up here, we have all the whites. These are my pirate glass chunks. When you shine a light underneath it, it is green. And here's the special pieces I found today. This is a weird grayish color. I don't know what that is. This is a very light lavender. This is a marble, which is so exciting. Here's my red piece of sea glass, my yellow piece of sea glass. These are very rare colors. And then here are the blues I found. We barely ever find blue, but here's the dark blues and all of like the kind of lighter blues. Ta -da! Okay, here are the rocks that I found today. They're all so colorful and pretty. This is a cool agate. Look at the bands in that. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about this rock in particular, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. And I just found some like really pretty hunks of rock that I just, oh man, they're just so pretty. Look how bright this one is. Are you kidding? On this one, I don't know what the heck this is. This is so weird. This got all these weird little like hunks of something in it. Eric found this beautiful like clear quartz. I'm obsessed. There's not one that I don't love. Like I love them all. I'm gonna put the kids to bed and then Eric and I will share our sea glass. I'll give him all of mine and then we do uranium fever where we get out a black light and we see if we got any cool uranium glass. I need to go do bath time and bedtime. So see you guys after that. It's now like probably 9.30, 10 p.m. and we're just not gonna see each other's stashes. This is bananas. Like you putting me to shame. I'm embarrassed to even oh show you what I got. A tenth place. of that. Oh my God. Here's the white ones. Oh my God, love you got so much glass I can't believe this. Light blue, browns, ceramics, dark blues, and I'm assuming these are your VIPs. Wow, holy smokes, that's a lot of glass. I'm so excited to look at all this. We're about to find out if we have any uranium fever. Um, the reason I say uranium fever is because there's a song that goes, uranium fever that we listen to. Anyway, it's time. And I think I have one piece. I think there's one piece that looks like it could be uranium. Mark Psycho. Mm -hmm. So far from oh my god, that one isn't? No freaking way it's not. I thought for sure this was uranium. Oh, I picked up like a thousand green today. No, Nothing. No uranium. No uranium fever today, matey. It's the next day. I'm combining yesterday's vlog with today because we had the podcast go up yesterday and I didn't film enough yesterday. Anyway, who cares? I am in a great mood because we've got the fire going and it just feels like a lovely day because I get to go through my rocks today and I know that yesterday I was like, oh, I'm sure y'all are sick of the raw content and I didn't even show you much rocks, even though I ended up still showing you a lot of rocks. I have so 
many tumblers to go through today. I have put it off for days because I've been too busy and it takes time to like go through the tumblers, clean them off the rocks, clean out the tumblers, put in the new stuff. So I haven't had a good chunk of time available to do that. So I have a rock tumbler that's ready to go into the final stage and I have two rock tumblers that I need to check and see if the rocks are ready for the next stage. And I have one tumbler that has almost finished polished rocks. Oh my God, I just realized I'm being really loud and the twins are asleep right above me, which by the way, I usually am on twin duty and Eric is on Flynn duty uh, during the night shifts of parenting. If the twins wake up, mama comes running. If Flynn wakes up, Eric comes running. That's kind of how we do things. But last night we switched. I love to cuddle my kids. My kids love to cuddle me. And if my kids cry for me and yell my name, I'm going to be there. I know that's controversial, but that's how I feel. So because of this, it leads to a lot of nights of lots of cuddles because if they wake up asking for mommy cuddles, I'm going to give it to them. Again, I know it's controversial and I'm not asking for your opinion on this. This is what has worked well for our family. Because of that, if the kids are in my bed, I'm not sleeping because I want to make sure that they are safe. And because of that, mama has not been sleeping basically at all. So Wesley's always been my good little sleeper and that has worked because if Maisie needs cuddles or need extra help, Wesley's really good at taking care of himself in his own crib. Well, recently, Wesley's decided, I'm not a good sleeper anymore, mama. I want cuddle all night. And by cuddle all night, I mean I want to ask for cuddles, cuddle you for two minutes, and then say I went back in my crib. And then after two minutes in my crib, I'm going to say I want a blankie. And then after saying I want my blankie, I'm going to say I want to cuddle again. And then when I'm cuddling you, I'm going to say, no, I don't want to cuddle. I want to lay on your bed. And then I'm going to cry and say, I want cuddles. He ends up waking up Maisie and then Maisie wakes up and she gets upset with him. And then they start screaming and then Flink would wake up. It's just like a whole thing. They see mommy and it's bedtime. They want mommy cuddles, period. doesn't matter how many times I try every other tactic to get them to sleep, rubbing their back, telling them I'll be right back, singing them a song, anything, nothing works. They see mommy, they're going to be screaming and they want up and they want cuddles. So then Eric last night was like, I'm, I'm taking over. It's daddy time. I'm locking it down. I've been doing bedtime with the twins since they were born. Eric's involved, of course. Eric and I both do bedtime together, but he goes and he puts Flynn to bed and I put the twins to bed. It takes me to get Maisie to sleep at least an hour every night. Like it is like, she is not going to sleep. When I tell you that this man went in to put the twins to sleep last night and he came out five minutes later, five minutes, I almost burst into sobs. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. This man who has been sleeping next to me for so many years, I had no idea was the secret ingredient needed minus me to get our children to sleep. Now, Eric and I have worked together to get the babies to sleep. I've done it by myself to try to get the babies to sleep. We've taken turns back and forth trying to get the babies to sleep. I had no idea. All we needed to do was eliminate mommy and reinforce daddy. And I said, how did you do that? What did you do? And he said, I told them to lay down and go to sleep. I was simultaneously so excited and so happy, but also enraged. <laughs> I, the amount, the amount of sleep that I have lost, the amount of time I have spent trying, begging, desperately trying to get them to sleep. And I was talking to some friends about this and three different moms and they're like, oh no, 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 you can't put them to sleep. If mommy's there, they're not gonna go to sleep. Like daddy has to do it. And I didn't know that this was a thing. Is this a thing? Like, can you tell me in the comments if you're a parent, is this a thing? Like, is it just like babies don't sleep for mom? and they sleep for dad. Like what, what is going on? Anyway, this is my very long-winded story of telling you that babies fell asleep very easily with Eric last night and then Eric was on twin duty. So they did wake up a bunch in their cribs last night wanting mama because that's what they do. But it was Eric duty. So like he came in and he was like, no, we're going to sleep and he would help them go back to sleep. He said it wasn't too bad except for this one patch of time where he fell asleep in there on a mattress on the floor while they were sleeping in their cribs. He said that at 5 a.m. he woke up to the sounds of the two of them going, <laughs> like making the sounds of a rooster. And he said, I don't know when they planned this or how they did this, but literally 5 a.m. the two of them at the same time started crowing like roosters and saying, get up daddy, and crowing like roosters. He said it was like the funniest thing in the world. So I'm really sad I missed that. Anyway, that was a very long-winded story. I'm gonna go edit. I'm ready for the rain. I'm ready for the snow, honestly, but I'm in California. So I have to dress like I'm ready for the snow in order to go in the rain. Our first tumbler of the day is tumbler filled with number two rocks getting ready to go into number three rocks. Here's what we got going into stage three. Next up, we have a tumbler of number one rocks. They have to check and see if they're ready for stage two. I actually have two of these I'm doing today, so let's check and see what we've got. Ta-da! So I go through these, see which ones are ready for the next stage, but we've got one more stage one bucket to open. Drawn on the window. What's that? Mom, it's candy! What's that? Lay that on the floor. Mama, mama, it's right, mama. Okay. Let's get one. Okay. 
Okay, ready? What's that? Happy face. Happy face. It's a happy face, yeah. <laughs> what is this letter? E. B. 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 Banana. Banana. B. B. Bulldozer. Bulldozer. What letter is that? E. E. That's right. It's E. E for excavator. G is for g g garbage truck. Garbage truck. Please bye. bye. Eric put the twins to bed again tonight, and I put Flynn to sleep. But Flynn took a long time. We were talking and having fun, so that was my fault. But Eric just texted me and said, "Hey, I made you dinner." So we had time to make dinner. So I'm wondering how long it took. So let's find out if it again was a successful put the twins to sleep night for him. Okay, I have to know. How long did it take you to put the twins to sleep? They're probably asleep within 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. <sighs> I'm so mad at you right now. 20 minutes? I think that's something people can relate to. I think it's like a dad, it's like a dad thing versus mom thing. You're upset about it? No, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they're so good. Because it takes so you two good. hours? It takes so long. I'm so happy that they fall asleep quick for you. I'm just like, if only I'd known sooner that with you, they'll go to bed quickly. What'd you make me? I made a fancy it's dinner. It's chicken marsala. Oh my Caesar God. salad and some batard. Batard? What's a batard? Every Trader Joe's bread, they call it batard. Ooh, I'm dinner. Bye. It's the time of the night where I make cookies. Yes, I still make cookies every single night. I just don't film it anymore because I do it so late at night. It's usually after I'm done filming, but tonight I'm feeling crazy. So tonight I'm making peanut butter cookies with chocolate chips on top. And also I always cook a couple of these. I love these. I've talked about them before, but they're dairy-free, gluten-free, plant-based, peanut, tree nut-free, and they're freaking good. And then I have this peanut butter cookie dough that I made a couple days ago. So I'm making little peanut butter balls and I have my chocolate chips and I just get a little handful of chocolate chips and I go, and it's like that. Anyway, I am so happy that the twins are doing better at sleeping because of Eric, but I'm also so jealous because I wish that I could do that. But I also like, I'm really happy and love my cuddle times with them. And I love that they want me for cuddles and they love mommy so much that they just want to like be with me. That's really special. And so I'm, I'm not complaining. Like I love that and I wouldn't want anything other than that ever. So I'm definitely joking around when I'm saying I'm like upset or mad or jealous or anything. Like obviously I'm very happy that my babies love Love me so much and want to cuddle me so much. I think I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm wanting sleep. But hopefully Eric putting them to bed for a week will make them forget their new exciting habit of waking up every 10 minutes to ask for cuddles all night long. Anyway, I'm gonna go, but leave lots of questions for Tortilla Talk because I've been really enjoying doing Tortilla Talks with you guys lately, so I might do one tomorrow. But I'm gonna go for now and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.